Evening folks, this is Finn from Ethelmark. Today's tutorial is basically going to be basic shield, uh, strap shield predominantly, since that's what I'm best at. I spent the last 10 years trying to learn center grip, not, not totally bad at it. Uh, I mean, I've won some stuff with it, but I'm definitely better with a strap shield. Uh, I basically fight with a wing and a prayer when I fight center grip. So, basics are based, are, I'm going to go over how I was taught. Uh, whoever teaches you, or whoever you might get with later, my teacher told me a different way. There's a lot of different styles out there. I'm just going to show mine. Maybe for some of you out there who are having a hard time with uh, strap shield, might, you know, see this video and go, actually, you know, that makes a lot of sense and it's something might click for you. Or it might be, you know, that doesn't work for me at all and try to learn from someone else. So let me grab the shield real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so, strap shield. According to where you're from, some guys have, you know, half your height, half your height your shoulder width. Some places have, you know, chin to, cr chin to crotch. Some places have no rules. Uh, some places have uh, hold your, held out your hand. You need to be able to put your shield um, in your armpit and be able to touch the end of your shield, which actually I think this one I can do that with. So yeah, so I can get right out to the edge. Barely, but I can get out to the edge. So, strap shield. The rules that I was taught was, basically it's the one inch, one to two inch rule. Actually, basically go two inch. One inch is a little too, uh, too small. Uh, basically the two inch rule. When you set up in your stance, so boom, your shield should not move more than two inches in any direction. Actually, yeah. Reason, by, reason for this is shield moves two inches in however direction it needs to go, your body does the rest. Because your body can recover faster than if you throw your shield up this way and then, oh, it was a fake and you come back. Where instead, if you go two inches and then twist, and your defense stays with the block. So, uh, are you going to break this rule? Yeah, there are occasions where you're going to break this rule. Uh, <laughs> perfect example, I was fighting Count Andrew this weekend. Uh, I think he's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like that. Uh, lefty. I closed in with him, hit his leg, saw him throwing the wrap. So I extended my arm all the way out. I mean, I was, if you, if you can find my video from, I think it's, uh, it's from the sixth, no. It's from the 14th, and I think it's uh, spot three. I think it's the third, I think it's the third from that day. Uh, but I'm fully extended out, but I'm crossed here, hitting his leg, and he goes over the top. And still hits me in the shoulder. So yeah, you're going to break some rules here and there. But if you kind of keep to the two, 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 and let your body do the rest, your defense will be tighter. Your defense will be faster because it's not because you're not having to rely on your arm getting everywhere. Plus, if your arm goes over here, and now you got to recover back over here. Or instead, you just do that hip twist, boom, you're right back to your stance. I prefer to use my corner of my shield as basically my targeting uh, array. So it's basically my crosshairs. So normally if you see me fight, you know, I set up, I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up on this, but when I set up, boom. My eyes are right off that corner, right towards my opponent. That's where I try to keep it at. Uh, it lets me 
see it over top of this to see if they're doing whatever. But it's still boom, little punch out boom, or boom. Uh, and I always, and also the other reason why it also kind of lines up that way is my style is more of a boxer stance. So you see me, you'll see me set up. This is how I set up. So hands there, this hands here. So you'll see, like a lot of times, like a wrap shot. It's just like I'm, you know, blocking a. Um, if someone's like throwing like a right, a right hook on, so it's just cover, boom. Leg shots are basically open. They're basically uh, like if you're doing MMA or whatever. Okay, um, blocking my leg shot is more of okay. They're going for a side kick in my ribs. Boom. And that's for this. Um, one of the things you want to keep. One of the things you want to keep going with on is you want when you set up. With this style, with this style, it should be very relaxed. You should be able to just set up, boom. I mean, my hand is pretty much loose. I'm not gripping at all, uh, which lets my and, and all the weight of the shield is resting more on my shoulder than it is on my arm, uh, which is one reason why with this style. You can see me just out here, like bear pits or whatever. My shield's not being tired. <laughs> uh, the shoulder, the shoulder uh, muscle is way stronger than my arm muscle. So being able to set up, okay, boom. And knowing that, you know, the with the boxer stance basically, as long as that elbow is in my ribs, that corner is pretty much staying on target. So, so that helps with that, which is why I recover a lot faster when I fight with this than I do with my Boeing, with my Boeing center grip, because uh, that has a tendency to get away from me, or I get ahead of it. Or this, as long as I know where this, where my elbow is in my ribs, I pretty much know where my shoulder is. So it's gonna be. There's really not a whole lot to go over on this, so this is going to be a very short video. Uh, if you got any questions on anything, feel free to stop me at an event if you're an Ethelmark, uh, if you're at Adult Swim, uh, which is coming up this coming month, uh, next month. Uh, if you're going to it, feel free to stop me. I'll probably be either in the mid pool, taking challenges, or playing in the deep end, uh, challenging, like Dukes and stuff. So I'll be in one of those two areas. But um, I might bring the katana and maybe play a little bit down on the great sword area also. But uh, feel free to stop me. We can go over some stuff. I can show you how, how I was taught my thinking of everything. I'm a very defensive fighter, uh, especially when I fight with this. Uh, I don't move, I move, but it's moving with a purpose not moving for the sake of moving. Uh, I counter punch. I'm probably more, I, I would say I'm more of a counter punch fighter, but I also know that there are certain guys that, yeah, I don't counter punch. It's, I will go on the offensive. But the offensive is still, you know, set up, boom. And set up, like, and just set up and walk them down. Uh, I kind of call this, when I'm moving with this thing, I call it my Mike, my Mike Tyson offense. That's basically what I based it off of. Of Tyson just cornering guys and putting them in the corner. Uh, so it's, you know, the short little steps. Kind of cut the ring off. But it's not, you know, it's not the boxing that will fully make weather style. No, it's basically okay. And basically using the shield like that. So. That's my style. Uh, there's, probably, there's definitely videos out there with other guys on how they do things. Um, basic shield is basic shield. That's why this video is short. Sorry. <laughs> there's no grand revelations. It's just 
I find if I keep, if I try to keep to, to the two inch roll, my defense stays tight. I survive longer. Gives me a more be a better chance to kill my opponents. Uh, I have a thing about when I fight. I don't like getting touched. I figure if my opponent can't touch me, no one can th no one can figure out that I'm no one can think I'm taking a shot. Uh, you know, too down with that. I'm right now. Yeah, let's just go with that. Uh, so I try not to get touched as much as I possibly can. So, uh, but that's it. Uh, thank you very much for for watching. If you watch this whole thing, hopefully you gain something from it. Uh, next week's tutorial will be uh, intermediary, intermediary shots. So I'll be going over my thoughts and beliefs on the head wrap, the leg wrap, the cross cut. Um, so that's what I'll be going over next week. So have a good night and be safe.